People always want what they don't have. 13 Going on 30 tells the story of a teenager named Jenna who dreams about life as an adult. Just because you don't look like these girls in Poise magazine doesn't mean that you're not beautiful in your own way. I don't want to be beautiful in my own way. I want to look like these people. One day, her wishes come true and she magically finds herself in the future and 30 years old. She then must navigate her new reality alongside balancing work life. Jenna reconnects with her childhood best friend Matt, who she's shocked to realize she'd grown apart from. From the beginning of the film, Jenna dreams of being grown up. She stuffs her shirt to appear more physically developed because of the models she sees in magazines. Adulthood is highly glamorized in her magazines and like the notable phrase in the film, she wants to be 30, flirty, and thriving. I want to be 30. <laughs> well, you will be, honey. But right now you're my beautiful 13 year old. She desperately wants to be out of her young teenage stage, where she's not respected by the popular girls and doesn't get attention from the boy she likes. Her magazine describes why your 30s are the best years of your life, and it is this taught mentality that causes her to reject childhood in many ways. She states that Razzle Candy is for kids and she rushes to hide the Jenna dream house Matt built her in fear of it looking childish. When Jenna transforms into her 30-year-old self, she has everything she'd ever dreamed of. <sighs> incredible i can't believe it i got everything i ever wanted she lives in a luxurious fifth avenue apartment she's an editor for her favorite fashion magazine and her best friend is the girl she'd been trying so hard to impress as a kid but adult life is not all that it's cracked up to be even if you have a closet full of luxurious clothes and shoes you have to deal with insincere people issues at work and the emptiness of not having true friends still hurts just as much as it may when you're young Jenna starts to miss her old life and travels to visit her parents in childhood home, which makes her emotional. Jenna only realizes how great life was when she loses it, and unfortunately, that's the case for almost everyone. It's easy to lose perspective getting caught up in life and overlook what there is to enjoy. We want to be older and more stable in our career. We want to be young again without responsibilities. We want to have a different job with a higher salary. We want to go back to a time when we think we were more beautiful. People naturally compare themselves to others, but also to theoretical versions of their life that don't exist. Jenna forms an ideal of being 30, flirty, and thriving, but even that phrase is built off of a rather sad mindset in society. There's a pressure for people to figure out their lives in their 20s, and the age of 30 has become a marker for judging if a person is successful or not. Are you established in your career? Have you started a family? Are you at least married? They're all silly questions, as 30 is still quite young, but they've been ingrained into society, imposing stress on young adults, especially women. This has come from both historical family systems and harmful subliminal messaging in the media. Luckily, this pressure is starting to be lifted, as society is becoming less attached to the traditional family-building timeline. However, I've heard many people talk about the societal expectations of turning 30. You're turning 30 soon? people both in my personal life and even celebrities online. Cut to 29, and I'm like, oh my god, I feel so stressed and anxious. There is suddenly this bloody influx of subliminal messaging around. If you have not built a home, if you do not have a husband, if you do not have a baby, and you are turning 30, and you're not in some like incredibly like secure, stable place in your career, or you're still figuring things out, there's just like this incredible amount of anxiety. Even the super successful and beloved Emma Watson has felt the impacts of the pressures of aging. What if you're not flirty and thriving at 30? What if you're still figuring it all out? I think we as humans in this difficult world are always just trying to figure life out, no matter how old we get. I find it interesting how society idealizes your 20s as if they're the pinnacle of fun in your entire life. That sets a standard that's hard to live up to, but then there is a new standard for your 30s. And meanwhile, adults wish they could go back to being carefree kids. Do you ever wish you could go back? Like to another time? Ultimately, 13 Going on 30 tells the story of a young girl who realizes she shouldn't take what she has for granted. Don't seek some sort of superficial status. Don't be too eager for a stage of life that's going to come and appreciate the good things you have around you. We're not defined by our age, and we definitely aren't defined by outdated expectations.